Spirit. Gosh, that's hard to believe, isn't it? But I hope it's going to be a wonderful week for y'all, your family, your friends, whatever your plan is. Every day should be a day of Thanksgiving. Amen? Um, we don't want to ever forget that. Gosh, we have so much to be thankful for and many, many blessings, constant daily blessings um, that the Lord shows, uh, shows us and lays out before us. What a joy. Uh, he just loves us so much. Um, let's start off with a word of prayer, if you'll join me this morning. Father God, I am so thankful for all that you do and how much you love. You're just indescribable. I am so thankful as well for the opportunity to come today. I hope those that are here have come and are ready to receive. And Lord, I just pray that this would be a time of true, genuine praise. From grateful hearts. So many of us can testify to restored lives amazing testimonies and Lord how we give all that glory to you and you alone and I want to be a part of this today we love you it's in Jesus precious name I do pray these things amen y'all join with us this may be a new song for some maybe you uh, listen to Christian radio this is on quite often it's called Hallelujah Feeling. Join me. Some days I climb the mountains, some days I touch the clouds, some days my best friend has been the cold hard ground. There's
stars yet, but the pastor does me. I get excited about that song. Hallelujah feeling. That ought to be our, our heart every day. We ought to be so excited about what uh, the Lord is doing, how he's wanting to use us. It ought to get you fired up. Amen. He is our good God. Woke up with a sunshine shining on down, come to the window, got so many blessings all around, joy written on my feet, my world is a go, cause I found a love. so good. Oh, we are just so, so grateful, Lord, again, um, as I come to you. And Lord, this morning, um, Lord, I just, I'm so very, very grateful for salvation, first and foremost, Lord, that you uh, are a God of uh, not just one chance, two chance, unending. You have no requirements except that we realize that we are in need of a Savior and that we're wanting to turn from sin go completely in the opposite direction and realize that you gave your life for us because of your great love for us. Thank you, Lord. So, so, so much do I thank you, Lord. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, your great forgiveness. That is who you are. You are a father. You are a You just so desire to have such a relationship with each one of us. So we are so grateful and grateful. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. But he came and he 
sure there's any of us in here that may have a, uh, a similar prayer according to our own circumstance. Maybe you've been praying for something for a long time, and you feel as though God hasn't answered in the way that you're wanting, you're hoping. And it, it's neat to me because <laughs> even in the midst of a prayer where maybe you feel like he's not hearing me and he's not doing what your heart is crying out for, don't you know that he only hears your good at heart? Even if, if, even if it's the greatest desire you've ever had for something in your life. He doesn't leave. He doesn't forsake. He realizes that heart's desire. And for whatever reason, if he hasn't answered yet, I certainly know it's for a very specific reason. His timing many times. But I encourage that friend to not lose hope, to realize that He takes care of every single detail. Please don't think that He doesn't think that your prayer is heard or it's important, or that He doesn't already know that beautiful desire of your heart, because He does. His ways are greater. His ways are higher. He doesn't want you to lose in defeat. And he doesn't want you to be hopeless. Because he has such a beautiful plan and purpose for your life. For every single one of our lives. Don't be like that friend in here. I know it's easy to do. Because we just don't understand. you know that because he's your father God he's also your friend so in the midst of the not understanding or the circumstance that is beyond whatever you can try to comprehend he's closer than a brother and it's neat because I remember years and years and years ago and it had been many ago when I was in high school, but I remember starting my freshman year, and I'll never forget this as long as I live, a gentleman that went to, to our church at the time, uh, he asked me if I was ready for high school, because at Spring Hill, that was ninth grade, and I said, Minister Ali, not I'm ready, he said, well, you, you don't have anything to be nervous about, you realize God is, he's just right there walking up the halls with you, taking you by the hand. I'll never forget it. So I bring that up just simply to say, if you just allow him to take your hand and walk with you, isn't that such a beautiful picture? Because that's who he is. Be encouraged today.